Hey guys, welcome back to Loop Hub. Today we'll talk about the super gross moments on my feet are killing me. Let's head into it. Number 1. Kids, always remember to wash your feet. A child comes in with a filthy toenail that needs to be removed. The nail seems to have several layers and is lifting up. On the other hand, it may be part of an oyster or xenomorph blood. Dr. Brad determines that the only solution is to pop it off like a bottle cap. It's painful to watch because it's just plucking the thing off without anesthetic. All that's left is a mini hot dog outside of the toe skin. It's gross. Number 2. 12 toes. Let's be honest, it makes no difference how many people step into the shoe with barnacles on their feet. Any case involving a child is immediately ranked first. Waylon has a total of 12 toes. Isn't that strange? Little man inherited it from his mother, who was born with 12 toes and 12 fingers. She's disappointed with how people have responded, but she should know better. It's a disorder known as polydactyly, which means Waylon's parents don't know how to control their child in a doctor's office. He also has extra toes that are teeny tiny. It's obvious that from the x-ray that one of the extra toes is an inner toe, rather than an outer her toe. Number 6 must be placed on one foot, while number 5 must be placed on the other. Dr. Vincent performs a delicate operation that makes me wince the whole time. It's crazy how easily the first toe detaches. The inner toe is a little more difficult to extract, and when doing so, it resembles a bloody tooth. The lack of blood flow causes some concern, but Dr. Vincent massages the digit and it turns pink again. Achievement. Number 3. Worst case of foot fungus. Since developing a foot and nail fungus 5 years ago, David from New Jersey has been unable to walk properly. My feet are a train wreck, he admits, and I'm sorry about it. Apart from their appearance, David's feet hurt all the time, and he has difficulty taking his shoes off and on. He admits it hurts like hell. I've learned to be flexible and adaptable. David stopped taking care of himself after developing the issue while grieving the loss of his beloved mother, and his feet soon deteriorated. Dr. Schaefer removes David's socks slowly and reveals the awful nature of David's foot fungus. His toenails have curled and overgrown, and the skin around his feet is brittle, dusty, and flakes coming off. When I removed the socks of David, there were only flakes, and flakes falling from his feet. I saw bad cases, but this is the worst case I have ever seen of a caterpillar fungus, said Dr. Schaefer. The nails of David were so long that they curled up, almost bridging each other. You might cut off tiny bits of his skin, literally. It looked as if it was a croissant. The foot of David is also riddled with rough cracks that make it hard to walk. Dr. Schaefer agrees to carefully clip his toenails and remove any dead skin to give him a regime to take better care of his feet in the future since david is in danger of infection well you know that you have to hurt me when you see me snapping through the roof chuckles david as he's preparing for his treatment dr schaefer begins clipping on his nails and chiseling chunks away at once with a laid back and happy david dr schaefer's greatest concern with david's hemophilia is not to cut him off during a procedure dr schaefer inadvertently pinches his skin drawing blood as he separates his toes fortunately the bleeding stops by applying pressure david can only watch the enormous bits of crowded skin and nails, waving in agony, as Dr. Shaver sand burns the electric file. Dr. Shaver tries to gauge some of David's course after the nails have been removed, which would cause him more awful pain. Dr. Shaver says that David had one bigger core than I ever saw, and it's gigantic, keeping a hard skin mass in his palm. David's feet is almost unrecognizable after a grumbling operation. Number 4. Infected Wound The bottom of her right foot looks like two bones waxing in the center, and the heel is deeply swollen. The rest looks like a second burning grade. Clearly it's tainted, and the whole thing is a mess if it gets wet. In this household, certainly, there are no family walks. Dr. Vincent is involved in the operation by creating a big piece of meat on the base of Stacy's foot. You're at best second if you think you've got high arches. There's a skin graft next, and her foot looks like a jelly stick rather than a maltreated Civil War combat wound on the following appointment. Number 5. Foot Bulge My feet are killing me, first and foremost, has built up suspense on the bulge of Reed's foot, but it looks like one of those stoppers on the front of roller skates as it removes its sock in full view. The kickstand of Paul makes standing, walking, and running difficult. His girlfriend has no spirit, but she gets a dog on screen for almost a second walk. Paul clearly has to walk on his foot, causing knee pain and a gait that makes him appear as if he's stubborn. His girlfriend is concerned about his cancer, however. His slouchy facial hair, Joe Dirt worries me more. Dr. Vincent has an operation to do, and it looks brutal. The split is around one-third of his foot's width, leaving an immense distance. Sewing it together is like lacing a five-shoe on a scale of eight feet, or maybe like a skit from Chris Farley. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.